I also received some recent funds from our trip to Sydney um, over the weekend. So it was there was heaps of junk out. I noticed, and I spoke to someone who said that garbage collection day was tomorrow on Monday. So I figured I may as well do some trash picking. So here's some of the stuff. First off, an old telecom touch phone 200. Um, telecom being the predecessor to Telstra in Australia. It works, I've tested it. Um, this is an older unit because the uh, newer ones had a little um, little hook kind of thing here. So it um, would hold the handset in place so you could mount on the wall because as you see you can't do it with this one. So that was a pretty neat find. I've wanted to get one of these old phones. We used to have one too. Designed and manufactured in Australia. Um, ringer pitch, uh, tone, um, loudness, uh, volume. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, next, just an old VHF, UHF antenna I found. It's all complete, it's not damaged. Um, now this is pretty awesome. It's um, Sanyo uh, RM5010. Um, flip clock with with a built-in radio. So that is really awesome. So a little alarm there and radio there, and I'll post some more videos of some of these things later on individually. Headphone socket, um, radio band selector and volume. Uh, the function, which I believe is the radio or alarm. And the time and alarm setting. Uh. Yep, next, this awesome national um, video cassette player. So it's, I found it out in a kind of little pasture thing, an abandoned pasture in town. It's an, I believe it's an NV L15. So. I just found it sitting there with an old computer and some power cables and well, various cables which I tore. So yeah, it's I haven't tested it yet but this looks like it would have been a really high quality machine in its day. Um, I've got a remote controller for it here, I've actually got Another one for Panasonic, which is the same. It was given to me by a neighbour. So it's got a digital scanner thing, which I don't exactly know what the story is. There, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So it's a solid thing. It's pretty heavy. It looks to be in good condition. So yeah, that was a pretty good find. Um, yeah. Next, some video cassette tapes. Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And um, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. And um, got an old solar panel from an old solar lamp. So i um, just got that so I can mess around with it. Some uh, old remote controller from an NEC. N3480 I found. Um, a little black and white CCTV camera I got for ten dollars from a, from a car boot sale I found in Sydney. A really big one. They had valve radios, phonographs, old rotary dial telephones, light bulbs. They had everything there. Um, some sticks of RAM. Four of them. Uh, the only one I can... Oh, there's 64 megabytes and 512 megabytes. These two, I don't know. This one's from 1996, I'm guessing. These were... Um, three of these came out of an old computer I found with this. And then the rest of the stuff in here was with that VCR player as well. Aside from this, this was... I found with... Um, Mm, found it in another pile. So, it's kind of all tangled up. 
extension cord. Seriously, who gets rid of an extension cord? They're one of the most useful things. Um, a USB cable. Um, I believe those were used for printers. Um, oh, I bought this knob for um, one of my TVs for a dollar. Anyways, um, that was from a flea market. A double adapter I found in the junk pile. An old um, ADSL splitter. Um, some a couple of old phone cables which are tangled up. These are the real old ones. Um, this one's an adapter with a newer connector on it. And then a couple of these standard um, free core power plugs. So yeah, but so it was a pretty good find over um, weekends, so yeah, I'll do some individual videos of these later, so yeah, cheers, Chris.